Welcome everyone to another Fire Emblem Heroes video with your host, me, Indulger. This is Ether Raids Week 63, Day 6. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my video description for details on how you can help support the channel and be a part of the program. Nothing on defense. Pretty sure we talked about this one yesterday. I'm well past the cooldown range, so man, if we can get really lucky uh, and manage to... Um, get to the last cooldown window. Might only have to fight one more time this week. So it should be a quick one. I know I say that every time, don't I? Feels like I do. Not having to go over defense saves a few minutes. We're gonna fight Rat, Radray, and Elysia. Elysia is new to the channel, so welcome. Uh, as I mentioned, if you wanna be a part of this series, which we basically, a little appetizer before the main event. We do our public fight. And we got Ike. Selkie this week. Three Selkie teams. We've got a Caden buffing team with a dancer. This is just dropping Lucina for better scoring. And then dropping the dancer. Have the both buffers and then a Surter. Three pretty good teams. I'm happy with all three of the cores with Surter, Ike, and Selkie. We're going to fight Rat with Team 1. There's a couple lessons I actually want to talk about in this fight, so thanks Rat for letting me uh, play Professor, play Byleth, I suppose. Um, and it involves a couple things, which we'll get to in a second. Let me just set up. I think we're going to have Selkie try to tank this stuff. <clears throat> Let me set up, and then we'll look at what you got. You got Americ, Sturdy Impact. Always a good decision. Sturdy Impact is very good. We got a Selif with some Brazen action. No, no Distant Counter. Got a Micaiah. <laughs> Level 36 Ninian, okay. That's very interesting. <laughs> I have not seen that. An intentionally underleveled Ninian. Merged plus three Ninian. I, I mean, are you just trying to get enough HP to get past the threshold? Or, okay, you've got an Alphonse who's not getting Ninian's boost. Is that on purpose? You had to talk to me about that, Rat. What are you going for with the Ninian there? Are you just trying to underlevel her attack? Or are you doing an HP play? I'm curious. Um, and then a, a Soth. Ugh. So we've got Hardy Bearing here. We don't want necessarily Ike to deal with him, although we'll see. If he gets a Dragon Fang off, one... Two, three, yeah. So that actually doesn't help him against Ikes. It may seem like it looks like you can beat some calves in Vantage, but it doesn't beat an Ike. If you actually have a special charged on turn one, well, Ike's just gonna brush that 40% off and then deal with a hit that's not a special. But we'll get to that. What I wanted to talk about is some of the Wings of Mercy plays here. There's a bunch of people with Wings of Mercy, but Self is a Wings of Mercy Lightning Rod, I like to call him. And uh, we'll get to it. I'm going to try to play this two different ways. I'm going to buff with Lucina, and I'm not going to buff with Lucina. I think I actually messed this up in terms of where I wanted to put Ike, but let's see. Selkie should be able to handle this, and if we can waste some of the Dancer's turns, that Soth is never going to be able to do anything. Thanks to this little wall over here, nobody can get free. I, I'm kind of against this um, coffin <clears throat> because it doesn't allow that dance to hit anybody else on the left side so I can tank everybody or uh, throw everybody to the left and, and tank that and then um, on to the next I could stay here or I could leave let's just pretend I don't do anything I'm curious how much this Makai is going to damage when I'm panicked. I don't think I got any... Just 20. I mean, that's how ridiculous Selkie is. He's got a armor effective hit. And I can thankfully get an Aether off on that Merrick. And now it's just down to Seleth and Soth. Here's what I wanted to talk about. <clears throat> so, Seleth... Do I have it? Yeah. Close no assist moves first. So, Seleth is going to move first. That's the rule. 
When there's no assists on either of them, Self's gonna move first, and because he's in Wings of Mercy range, just barely, 27's Wings of Mercy. Uh, when he ends he, that's where Selkie's at, that means Soth can jump here. So, he can't hit on these corners. So, if I just position my forces here, I cannot be attacked. It's important to see that, because I'm sure you guys get hit with these Wings of Mercy traps all the time. Self will move first. And then that jump happens, but they can't do anything. Now what I should have done, actually, is had Ike in the way to deal with that south hit. Because now I think I'm kind of messed up. Self's gonna die, or... Well, let's see. Let's see if we can get out of this. So I can get the ether. And I can finish. Cool. So that's a good solution. Another thing I'm gonna show you... This is really just a interesting sort of tactics. We tried to do it yesterday, actually, and I was so close to getting it to work. Intentionally, actually, no, that's not true. The one time I tried to use Lucina, um, let me finish my thought first. I'm trying to intentionally not buff because, you know, Lucina is actually providing a fair bit of support to Selkie here. But let's say I just didn't do it. And I intentionally avoided Lucina from helping. What that can do sometimes is make this little clogged toilet action, I call it, <laughs> in this little trench here. I'm not going to be able to finish, and we're just going to waste all these dancers, and now the dancers are exposed, and the Soth just jumped in my face, which is awesome, because he's dead now. So that's a cool little, little trick, if you can play that out. That's a lot of math. I, I don't take the time to deal with that. But that's just a different way of... It's actually a little better, because I'm going to be able to be all three of these. Merrick's now in the corner. I think this is a lot better shape than what we did um, with Lucina buffing. Merrick doesn't die, but nobody can help him. And now it's just a matter of... Running away for a minute. So thanks, Rat. I like that fight just to go over the uh, sort of the tactics you can do because no distant counter, we can finish up. Overall, it's a deadly team. If I don't tread very carefully, I'm going to get hit by a cheap Wings of Mercy jump or something like that. And as you saw yesterday, if I lose one unit, it's over. Like I, Light's just one of those seasons where you cannot screw up if you want to be top 1,000. So, all right. Thanks, Rat. Hope you uh, enjoyed that. Next is Alicia, who I believe is the first time we're seeing on the channel. Correct me if I'm wrong, Alicia. I'm pretty sure it's the case. I'm also going to go Team 1. They've got a Flyer Ball. And I, I can be damaged by Flyer Ball. I specifically remember uh, MB's team, who really hurt me. Um, with a pretty nasty Flyer Ball with uh, some Red Hardy bearings. But here's the problem. You're giving me a defense panel, and you're basically telling me to go check it out. And this is a ward team. It's not a goad team, it's a ward team. If it was a goad team, and this Alencia had a hardy bearing on, I would be a little more concerned. But because it's not, I didn't see if my smite was in the right spot there. Nope, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. I can smite Ike, shove Ike, get my ether up a bit. And because there's just this one dancer, I don't think they're going to be able to do anything. The dancer gets baited. We'll see what this Alencia can do. It's not looking good because she's not attacking. <laughs> That's a bad sign if Alencia's not going. 
This is just overwhelming stats on this. Now, if you can make this so somebody can break free to maybe hurt my Lucina. But unfortunately, even with the quad, it's just not enough. If we could play this little game of... <laughs> Trap the Yoon. And I can go get those pots. It'll take a little bit of time. But uh, that's my solution. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the baiting your team. I mean, let me know how that's gone. I can do it. I'm, I'm thinking other people can do it. And this is an armor killer, so an armor would hurt. But you give your opponent a free 30% defense, probably going to be enough. Now, let's say I didn't do that. Let's say I just did this. Is it enough? Will be anything different here in terms of jumping? Yeah, the problem is these, these Yoon's just go down. Okay, I guess I get it. You want to bait from here, and then you have to deal with Yoon. Maybe having enough bulk to handle it. Camilla's not a unit that really wants to engage on offense. She's just really there for her goads. Understood. And I can sort of walk it back. Not going to be a transformation on the land. What's next? It's a little bit more difficult now because I've got to figure out a way to stop the uh, Yoon. Yes. Could break you and then repo and then repo. And then next time, I, maybe we can try to get you encircled. Ah, uh, it's not going to happen. So, maybe that would prevent me. Well, we can try to play it out. Who can you hit that won't die? I suppose the, really the only thing I can maybe check here... But I can't get up there. I was going to try to see if I can get Lucina on this defensive panel. It's not going to work. So this is sort of sort of a... A, um... On-the-fly test. I didn't actually look at this. But she can survive it anyway. That's good. But I still don't have her pinned. I can't pin her. And getting the ether is just going to be a real problem. Can she survive? No, we've, we've blocked it. Yeah. So, okay, maybe you can stall me with ether, but overall, I've never been a big, like, I'm not, fan's not the right word of fireball teams. It's just I've never really had a challenging experience other than maybe super stuff like MB throwing me with some plus 10, like, hardy bearings. Throw a hardy bearing on that Lincia, maybe? I'd be happy to try it again. I, I still don't think she's going to be able to do much. Because the way she works, she gets a double off, right? So the second hit would be 80% reduction anyway. So Alinti is not exactly a great I killer by herself. If she's paired with somebody else, she can certainly shine. But All right. Hope you got some thing out of that. If you guys want to be a part of that series, leave me a comment with your in-game name. Light is closed. Sorry, anybody that, that basically asked to be fought in this week's light is not going to happen. I've got a couple more people tomorrow. I think we're going to try to get Semurais, and then uh, I'll see who hasn't gone in a while. And we'll go from there. Semurais has got a good team. I'm looking forward to fighting Semurais yesterday, uh, tomorrow, rather. <laughs> yesterday? I can't even get my uh, days right. So I look forward to that, Semurais. Okay. Let's summon. No more Jill. You guys have seen enough Jill. No more Jill. Now, okay, Sonya. Big part of my core defense on light and dark. I, I really want some greens. Oh, this would just make me a super happy camper. I already got a free Hector last week, though. Can we just get a four star? Give me some hope. I've got some hope. I was, I, I was going to say, if we had multiple greens on this. Yes! <laughs> Yes! That's awesome! Wow! I'm legitimately happy. What's up, Sonia? 
Got a plus attack version of her. I just really wanted to get rid of her minus res bane. I didn't get to finish my th thought. I, I was going to say, I might actually go... Um, Plus speed. Ooh, uh, her speed's not great. So I'm, I'm happy I've got a plus attack version of her. All right, I will try to do that after the video and we'll look at Sonya tomorrow. Super excited about that. On the free pull. I would have probably given 50 orbs to try to get her. She's not a critical component, but she just puts in so much work on my defense. And if you've been watching for the last few months, I love her. She's just so great. All right, we've gone over the offense. Got to be a little careful today. We were two ladders into it. Uh-oh. Prid? Okay, well, he doesn't have a... Uh, lunge. Everybody's got their S-slot! Yay! Ugh. It's a rally trap. Um... Just one dancer. First glance, this looks like the weak point. But it's not really because Alm can hit me. Breaking this and keeping here is maybe a weak point because you get rallied. No, it's still not a weak point because then Yoon wouldn't go. I want both of them to attack me, but I can't do it and then have Alm not go. This is... This is pretty tough. It almost just... Still need a dedicated alm counter team, and I don't really have one this week. No lunge on this rid, which... Maybe we're going to go that route. But it's still going to be an alm... He's going to rally rid, get hit here. Plus attack Alm with Lunar Flash. Now, he does have his no follow-up, which means we can't get a second attack off. But he's going to hit me twice, right? Doesn't have Hardy Bearing, so he will hit me twice. He will get his Lunar Flash off, but I will reduce it by 80%, I believe. So he shouldn't be that bad. I don't think he's going to kill me. Rid's not great. Rid is going to follow up as well. Any Wings of Mercy? Shouldn't come into play because this rally should happen. Dance, Dancer's gone, and then it's a Rid Alm combo. I think we need Ike. I think we need Ike. Surter can't take this double because of the B skill, but he's not running Hardy Bearing, so Ike should be able to handle it. Hopefully kill him with an Aether? I just don't know how much damage this Rid's gonna do <laughs> this lot. He's also got Heavy Blade. His follow-up should also be 80% reduced. It's just team one or nothing. I don't really have another choice here. Ike has got to try to beat this and may not work. It's a 50. If we can beat the Alm, though, I'm feeling pretty confident. Now, Alm is not going to go in front, I don't think. So I can have an air here. I'd rather not have to play that game. So I think I'm just going to break this with air, move up with Ike, shove, and then put these two on the left side. I don't really see how this is going to play out in other turns, but if I can survive this, then we'll go from there. I don't like having this air so exposed. But I honestly believe she can step up. <clears throat> She's a smite, so it doesn't really matter. <sighs> I 
what if I'm wrong and Alm jumps up though? Dance, one, two, three. I don't think he's moving. He's probably gonna hurt me, but I'm gonna play a conservative and put air over there in the corner just in case something stupid happens. But it should be a rally, a dance, and then Alm goes first? No. Okay, he didn't get the double off. Here comes my ether. It was enough. Okay. Okay. I mean, because that Alm didn't have hardy bearing, that was allowed to work. And I think we've got past the danger zone here, because now we can beat Yoon. There are no more rallies. So this was a good Goldilocks team. This was difficult, but we have a we have a chance. We have a chance to beat this. Now, I don't know if I want to do that. I can, but then that leaves me open to Veronica. This is my reposition. This seems easier, and then I can just repo with Selkie. And we'll take you out. Eventually deal with you. And do we have a very dangerous Azura this time? No. I mean, it's, she's at plus speed at plus four. I think Lucina can handle that. <laughs> She's outspeeding me by a lot. Why are you getting so much speed? She's plus two. She's going to be the bonus week uh, unit next week, guys. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's going to be scary. Mm, I, I just need to take a few seconds to think about this because we ended up blowing it yesterday. A very winnable winnable fight and we just screwed up at the end game and I lost in Aversa for no reason. Understood. So Ike could do it. I would rather get rid of the Bolt Tower though with Ike. It's all for you. Fortunately I can't do anything else. Wings of Mercy. Yoon's dead. And then what? Do you have aerobatics? No, Wings of Mercy. We just talked about this. Well, what if Veronica actually attacks here and then Yoon doesn't do anything and draws back? That would be a bummer. But Veronica is going to be the first one to go. She's going to say she attacks here. Azura can't dance. Attack. And then Sothis comes here. And that's it. I just don't know what to do with this air. I need to get her over here now. That's don't want to screw it up. There's just, there's no way that anybody's getting danced right now. The of my Hope I didn't miss something. Where's Veronica going to hit me? In front of me or to the left? She hit me in front, so he's going to be a drag back. And it's going to be a, oh god, okay. I did not I didn't even see the reposition. Didn't die. Okay. Okay, we can do that. We're just going to have to have Azura hit someone. Tactics room, you bastard. can't get Lucina up there. Yeah, I can. Lucina's just going to have to go, but then she's going to get hit with this chip damage, and then 28 res. Why am I being damaged? Was it from the Veronica? Let's look at what this Azura is going to do. She's got Moonbow. She'll hit me twice. 40 damage. I won't be healed, but I'll be healed by air. If I don't get rid of Veronica now, it's just gonna bite me in the ass. Yeah, let's just leave her alone. She can't really do anything. Understood. Understood. 
Okay, I'll take some hits. Big deal. Who cares? Veronica is not going to be able to puncture Ike. You can splash me all you want. I don't care. From here, I mean, no one's going to want to take on Selkie. It's a 50 trap. That's got to be good enough. The glimmer of life. I mean, it's a zero. Okay, I, I was worried about nothing. Sorry, I just got PTSD from this Azura from yesterday. And that'll do it. Not too bad. That was a fun one. I like that. So the, the key there, the key there was that Alm didn't have Hardy Bearing. You can go ahead and hit me with your Lunar Flash. So if I can reduce it by 80%, then I don't really care. <laughs> and you're going to give me Ether to boot. So it really depends on what Alm's running. If he takes out his B skill, that could help. If he takes, he doesn't have Hardy Bearing, that could help. In that case, Ike prevailed. All right, guys, that'll that'll do it for us. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow to wrap up and conclude week 63. Run pace. We only lost 55 points. Probably should have tier 1,000 wrapped up as long as we don't stumble. There's two more fights. We got two ladders. Anything come on defense? No. We've got two rematch possibilities. I might do this one. This is just a basic Yoon. Yoon by herself doesn't necessarily scare me. So stay tuned for that. Have yourselves a great rest of your weekend, guys. I hope you have a lovely week ahead. It's going to be tough for me. Gonna be tough for me. I <laughs> have a lot of stuff going on at work, but may your day just be a fantastic one. Take care, guys. Bye bye.